With friends like power, <laughs> who needs enemies? Yeah. Yeah. Don't it seem like... like Yeah, man. So <laughs> we're going to jump in here to this DF clan beef. I wanted to wait till Power responded and he did. Uh, so I'm just going to break this whole thing down and kind of give you guys um, a look at what's happening. So first, uh, let's jump into what kind of kicked this all off. I'm going to give a little brief description, show you guys a video. So basically, look, DF, DF, let me start from the beginning. DF Dedicated Forever is a clan that plays NBA 2K basketball games together. They also make YouTube videos. They're a group that kind of, um, their clan basically is what it's called, a group that, that does the video, does videos, and um, play to, plays 2K together. They're all in that same group, group called DF Dedicated Forever. Uh, Power DF is the founder of that group. Uh, had members like Grinding, Luck, all sorts of people, Double H, uh, DF. So all these people are in this group. Oh, and basically, it was revealed not too long ago that Power was, uh, he was being disloyal. Subs. And let me ask you a question that you gotta tell the truth to now. Do you think he will pass me before the end of 2K20? Grinding has been doing YouTube for three years. He never, ever uploaded consistently until you became his editor. I stayed ahead of him this entire year because I was able to upload more consistently, quicker than he has. Now that you're editing for him, he has the same advantage I do. So, it's your fault. First up, do the video, but don't do it as fast. Take some time, rest, relax. Do what you do on my videos. Instead of doing it in like 30 minutes, why don't you take like two or three hours? Is that too much to ask? You do the same thing, you just take a little bit longer? Or can you not do that? Because it goes against what you want to do. Let me know. We can just make up a fake vacation. So just be like, yo, so I'm going on a real vacation now. See, you, you should have told me about the vacation. That was such a good idea. We could have used the fake vacation to avoid and slow grinding down for a whole week. And he could have, he would have understood if you took a whole week or two for vacation instead of forcing it and doing the editing when you were home the entire time. Dude, I talked to him, and I don't know if he's naive, but I, I talked to him, I got an idea. I have I have a pretty good idea that he has no idea we work together. He might, he might have a, I don't know, dude. I, I can't read this man, bro, but I feel like he has no idea at all, you know what I'm saying, that um, you edit for. I told you, when he hits you up, send me it, bro, and we can brainstorm or strategize about it. We have to, we, we can't we can't make it obvious that you're not doing this shit, but you need to start becoming slower. You need to start becoming more efficient. You feel me? You can't you can't be as productive as you are now. You can get it, you can do what you do, but if you slow it down and slow walk it, maybe, you know what I'm saying, we can affect them a little bit. It's straightforward, bro. All you gotta do is tell him, listen, just had a surgery. Afterwards, my eyes are light sensitive. Tell him your first surgery got messed up because you had some issues, and now you have to wear an eye patch. And if you look at a computer screen or something like that for too long, then it may risk your recovery and you may have to go back and get another surgery. So you can't risk that type of shit. And, and then he won't ask you if he does. When I hit you up for things, you seem to make my life purposely difficult. You will get in an argument, you will fight about stuff. But every time a guy didn't hit you up, you would just do the edit or you would... Um, strictly talk about edit what contributed to that difference in treatment in which he was treated better than i was um on a personal level in the way you interacted with him i know what you said but like i said no trusting just verifying so i'm gonna watch what you do and if you don't don't make me kick you out of the clan my guy i don't want to do that to you <laughs> don't make me end you i have so much stuff under my sleeve that i don't do because i'm really nice but you know what I'm saying? I could, I could, I could make so much trouble. You know what I mean? Like, I can initiate so many charge bats. It'd be a shame if your PayPal was like very in the negative, or you know what I'm saying? Like, you just got completely embarrassed on Twitter. I don't know. We don't want to get in that because we were friends. But I'm just saying, if you don't cooperate, if you don't be my friend, then it's like we're enemies, and I hate to be enemies. But the truth is, we need to know if you. If you're loyal, if you're dedicated, if you're really all in, how do I know if you're all in? Offer yourself a sacrifice. <laughs> you're so funny. So, are you loyal or are you not loyal? It's simple. Let me let me speak in dumb speak. Are you loyal or are you not loyal? Acting like you're actually scared, like I'm going to do something. There's no reason to be scared. 
as long as you listen to me look we literally talked about this i'm the realest person you'll ever meet but i do also get what i want i don't like when people lie to me i don't like when people hold stuff back that's not gonna work so i'm gonna need you to be completely forthright with me i'm gonna need you to be honest i'm gonna need you to trust me and those are the conditions they're not conditional they're that's what's gonna happen because i always get what i want bro don't be dumb he's not hitting you up to check on you he's hitting you up to build in into asking you for the video you know what i mean it, yeah so power is just crazy man um uh, you going behind your man's back like that basically just to try to like snake him and like keep his sub count down and this was two years ago and power came out and said oh you know oh, everything that's done in the dark comes to the light yeah because you was out here doing dirt my boy um <laughs> doing your man's wrong like let, let, friends right and trust um Everybody says you had to give trust just to get it. Um, and, and I do agree that in certain situations and scenarios, trust has to be given off the bat, uh, specifically when I'm talking about football, right? Like, I, I coach football, so, like, players have to trust each other on the field, and, like, that trust just has to be given no matter what you see. Um, it's the only way the whole team works together. Um, but sometimes in relationships and in friendships, trust needs to be earned and evaluate it right and, and this is what i'll say about grinding before i kind of jump into the next like clip of this but this is what i'll say about grinding um you had multiple people telling you the power was trying to snake you and um you did nothing about that uh you know i know it's your friend but if multiple people are coming to you telling you hey man i don't i don't know about this dude i you know investigate it i'm not saying that they're right people start mess all the time but investigate it protect yourself at all times grinding protect yourself you didn't protect yourself and you got stung it's unfortunate and you got stung um you you got stung my man and, and it sucks that you got stung uh it sucks that this happened to you i i wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy but you you needed to protect yourself and you didn't and then this came out this crazy <laughs> thing from this dude ollie man basically where power had him like made him call him master and all these, these <laughs> and energy like what is going on with that like one my question to ollie would be why are you still even dealing with this person and talking to you like that two my question of power would be what is wrong with you what on earth makes you think that you can talk to anybody like that i don't know no friend of mine nobody that i rock with is gonna talk to me like that I mean, that whole situation was insane with the whole Ollie thing. And it's just been piling on power and piling on power. Everybody from DF came out and said, I'm leaving DF. Uh, I, I'm done with DF. Uh, DF clan is no more. Uh, it's over with, as they should. You know, when you see a snake like this, you got to run the opposite way. 
this man was not being loyal at all. He wasn't dedicated forever to his group. He was dedicated forever to himself. Uh, and that's just the truth of it. That's the bottom line. He wasn't dedicated to his friendships with any of these people. Um, and he snaked the, the person that's closest to him. And it's a shame. Uh, it, it's an absolute shame what this man did. Uh, and, you know, I feel bad for the people that are involved with him. But, again, there's a life lesson that we all can take from this. Evaluate your friend group. Evaluate your friend group. And, and this is something that I live by that my mom taught me. People use that word friend too lightly, right? Friends to me is a, is a closer situation, right? Somebody I can depend on. Somebody I can call on whenever I need something. I'll be there for them. They'll be there for me. Uh, you know, yada, yada. And associate is people that I know that I just talked to, you know. We're cool. Um, but you wouldn't drop what you're doing for me. If I needed something, you wouldn't be there for me. Like, you know... We cool, you know, but we're not friends. We're not brothers. That's, that's not how we rock. You get what I'm saying? So it's just it just kind of people got to be careful with that friend title. Be very, very careful with that friend title. Um, yeah, and uh, this situation sucks because power, power snaked him. He didn't protect himself at all times. The people in the group didn't protect themselves at all times. And, you know, I get why grinding left at the time he left. But for the people who knew about, like, luck and for all the other people who knew about how bad power was, why were you sticking around? Also, luck, if you're a real one, why didn't you? Why Why is this now just coming out? Why you ain't hit grinded up and said, hey, man, this man trying to snake you? Be real. Be real. See, see people... People only do things when they when it when it benefits them or harms them. This man was out here snaking him like that, and you let him go on for two years, let power go on for two years, pretending that he was still grinding for it. False flagging. Y'all wrong for that too. False flagging. Y'all should have stood up and said something. And the fact that you didn't is insane and crazy to me. Absolutely insane. No loyalty, no friendship between any of them. And, and again, you gotta be careful with that friend title. So power is entitled to a defense. I'm always open to hearing what people have to say in defense of themselves. So let's listen to a little bit of what power said. I right, the grinding thing, I'm just gonna own up to that. That shit was like definitely a mistake. Um, it was two years ago. I made a comment I shouldn't have. I was like competing with him and it sucked, you know what I mean? But what I didn't like is after the whole grinding situation, Everybody and their mama wants to come out and perpetrate lies so they can get clout and they can get likes on Twitter and they can get views on their videos. And it's like people distorted reality. And a lot of people haven't heard my side. People distorted reality just so they could look like the good guy. Look like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong in this situation. When, bro, you literally knew about it for years. You literally were okay about it for years. You literally didn't have a problem with it. And now you want to post it for Twitter and you want to take advantage and of the whole situation so live that's nature two dollars ot iso if y'all think i'm literally gonna apologize for someone else calling me master i'm not <laughs> if y'all if y'all think literally i'm gonna apologize for half the stuff people made up i'm not so the only person really i feel like i have an over apology to is grinding and half luck because of the little thing where um i don't i wouldn't call it blackmailing but i did pressure him to only edit for me, so you know what? I'll give him an apology for that. But um, I was thinking about my name. Like, do I want to have a solo name? Do I want to change the name? What do I want to do with a name like this, bro? And honestly, I, I think I'm just going to keep the name, bro. Because, like, Power DF is me. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's my whole, like, identity. And I like it. And I remember I always used to say, like, if everybody leaves the F, if the whole clan dips out, I'll be the last DF. So, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm just going to keep it. Like, even if DF is not a clan, I think it would be cool, like, yeah, man. So basically, he was saying he didn't tell grinding because um, I wanted to protect DF. I didn't. I knew if I told him DF would be over. Yada yada yada. <coughs> Bro, what about the fact that you did it? There would be nothing to tell if you didn't do that. There would be absolutely nothing to tell if you didn't do it, right? So, like, let's start at the basis of. Stop snaking him. Like, don't be a bad person. Can we start there? Like, don't do this to somebody, right? Like, don't connive and con uh, conspire ways to bring someone else down, to drop his sub count. Don't do that. 
but no, I, I didn't tell the truth because I wanted to hide. Um, I wanted to, to keep my group together. Selfishness for yourself. Selfishness. And, and you also said you did it because you thought, oh, the group would be better off with me as a sub leader. What's your evidence for that? What was your evidence for that? I would love to hear it. I would love to hear your evidence for that. Can't provide any? Okay. Clearly, DF was still DF started popping even more when Grindy became the sub count leader. So false flag, and you don't know that. Instead of supporting your man, you snaked him. And I'm not buying. I'm not buying any of this. You know, you can explain the situation. You're entitled to an, a defense to explain the situation to explain what happens. But you was flat out wrong. You know, I know people are still going to support you, and you don't deserve to be canceled. You don't deserve to be kicked off the internet. Um, and, you know, you said you weren't a fan of cancel culture, and I get that. Uh, you know, obviously now you would say that, but, again, I guess in the past you have also said that, so I'm going to give you credit where credit is due. You don't deserve to be canceled. You deserve to be able to still make a living, but what you did was wrong, and, and people have a right to judge you on your actions, um, and Grind has a right to never be your friend again. What you did to all of these people was wrong. Uh, I've seen that you kind of accept the responsibility for that, and that's great. And I hope that you grow from this situation um, and learn how to be a better person and a better friend. But if it's me or anybody else, I'm not getting in a group with you, bro. I can't trust you. Not after this. You, If you get down with power, who basically is saying, I'm going to be the last DF person now. He's going to be the last dedicated forever. Of course you are, because nobody else going to be in dedicated forever. You want to be the last DF person? You got it. You're the last DF. And if anybody else tries to get down or power, you're a fool. You are a sucker, and you're setting yourself up for failure, and it's your fault. Just going to throw that out there, man. Just going to throw that out there. Listen, this DF beef was crazy. Um, you know, I think it'll subside. Just like anything on the internet, all this stuff passes. So... It'll subside, but listen, don't get down with power. Don't get down and, and remove the people like this in your life. Remove these so-called friends who uh, won't do anything for you, won't have your back, won't help you in anything. Um, just go ahead and remove them from your life. Go ahead and delete, yeet, get rid of them um, because they're not enhancing you as a person. Get people around you. You know, they always say, and I find this true, get people around you who challenge you to grow and be a better person. If people in your circle are not doing that, they need to, they got to go. They're holding you down, got to go. People got to be okay with not being popular. They got to get okay with not being popular, not everybody liking you, not everybody being your friend. That is something that a lot of people, and especially this generation, struggle with. I struggled with it too as a kid in high school. People used to tease me all the time. Uh, and But my mom used to try to teach me lessons that I didn't catch on to until I was older, right? And those lessons were be comfortable with who you are, be appreciative of who you have in your life that's comfortable with who you are and is helping, willing to help you succeed and keep those people in your circle. Don't worry about everybody else trying to be your friend. So when you see a snake in the grass like power, run away. <laughs> Please go ahead and like, I comment, and subscribe. Please comment too. I love I love the engagement. I appreciate everybody who gets in the comment section and engages with me. It is truly, 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 truly important to me. Uh, so please go ahead and do that. Like, comment, and subscribe. And guys, <laughs> as always, I will see you <laughs> when I'm ready to run my mouth again. <laughs>